Hi everyone and welcome to your yes or no pick a card. So I want you to think of absolutely any question which is on your mind and in this pick a card reading we're going to look into that in more detail and we're going to get the answer to your yes or no question. So as you can see guys there are six groups. We have group one, two, three, four, five and six. So take a moment to pick which card you are being drawn to between one and six and then you'll find the timestamps in the description box below. But this can be absolutely any question on your mind as long as it has a yes or no answer. Um, so yeah, have a think and you can always use more than one question and pick different groups as well. So if there's more than one question on your mind, just pick, you know, different groups for different questions. Um, but yeah, when you are ready, find the timestamp in the description box and skip ahead to your reading. Okay guys, let us start here with group one. So group one, your yes or no question, now or never. So this is a definite yes. In fact, Spirit is kind of saying it has to happen pretty soon. Like if this doesn't happen quickly, then you might find like the opportunity is missed. So we've got the Nine of Swords. So clearly someone has been worrying about this situation. Maybe it's something that you've been overthinking a lot. Um, and Spirit's just kind of saying like, Trust in the timing. Trust that this is going to happen when the timing is right. If you are the person who has been wondering, should you do something? The answer is yes, definitely. The longer you wait, the more stuck you'll feel. For others, you've been worrying about when maybe someone else will do something and for that, Spirit's kind of saying, look, when you stop worrying, that is when it will happen. But right now, it's pretty evident that like, these anxious thoughts are the biggest block. Now, you may be dealing with a Libra here, or perhaps we are just talking about a situation which needs balance. Um, so, yeah, you know, if things are out of balance, then it can be really frustrating and worrying. But, you know, it's important not to think about this and instead try to find ways that you can balance yourself out um, and create the harmony in this situation. Because I do feel like the answer is yes, very soon. You know, this situation needs its kind of like karmic balance. Something here is definitely quite out of sorts. Something here needs... Um, it, it needs this kind of fairness back to it. I just feel like something happened here which wasn't right and now it needs correcting. So, you know, you've spent a long time like thinking about this and I do feel that this may involve another person here just because I get the sense of two people who are kind of at a distance right now. Um, but, you know, this time of maybe like separation or distance, as hard as it may have been and as much as you may have worried I do feel like you have grown a lot stronger as a result of it like you really have found yourself in this and yeah look three of cups there's definitely going to be like a reunion here some kind of celebration so try not to worry about this the more you worry I actually feel like the more this may stagnate but there is just so much happiness here you know I do feel there's going to be some kind of celebration or announcement in the next couple of months um the time frame I'm getting here is three months and uh, confirm with the three of wands so three months and yeah I do feel like you guys are dealing with either a Libra or you're dealing with um another person here because look, this King of Swords, they know that they need to kind of write this. They know they need to correct this situation. So if you're waiting for something from a person, then just kind of give it like around three months. And I do feel that well, there will be something from them. But yeah, the more you worry, the longer this seems to delay. So really try to ease your mind and not focus on any kind of worries or concerns. Because actually, there's going to be a lot of forward move movement and expansion. The month of July may be in important or maybe we're talking cancer season here perhaps this situation involves a libra and a cancer but don't worry if not just for answer to your question it's a strong yes but it has to be when this king of swords is ready and the thing is once they're ready they're going to act quickly now or never like as soon as they are balanced and they are ready to kind of have this second chance they're going to make sure that they act quickly this person doesn't like to miss out on opportunities 
So I do feel a lot of forwards movement. Um, and yeah, there's going to be like a really happy and successful outcome here. So I feel this person may ask, ask you on a date. Um, you know, they may try to like make this work. They may try to meet up with you. But there's strong reunion vibes here between you and the person. So yeah, things have been left pretty unfair here. Things were left like really not in a good way. But I just feel that in time this person will want to correct that and they will definitely like I said as soon as they're ready they'll definitely act because um they don't like situations being unfair either so yeah this person's like big on justice and yeah as soon as they're ready to act they definitely will this person will be the one who leads here so you just kind of have to sit back not worry and just work through any anxieties you have and trust that this will resolve when the time is right Okay, guys, that is all I'm getting for group one. So if you chose this group, then definitely let me know in the comments what resonated. Um, but we will remove that one from... We will remove, remove that one from the reading. And we will get stuck into group two straight away. So group two, let's have a look for answer to your yes or no question caution we have already warned you so are you asking about a situation which maybe you've been worried about for quite some time i think a lot of you there is this kind of need to know like you guys have been really focused on trying to find the answers here maybe to the point where this has become a little bit toxic or draining but let's have a look you've clearly had lots of signs and messages from spirit about this already ace of cups king of pentacles so it seems like yes there is going to be a new beginning here but first of all this king of pentacles someone here needs to find stability so maybe you have to like wait for the right opportunity to come along this seems to be one of those where the answer is like yes but not immediately like you will need to wait here you will need to be patient yeah, the Eight of Cups came out in reverse, as you just saw. So you will need to be patient because I feel like the timing isn't right at the moment. And maybe that's what Spirit's been trying to say. Like, look, try not to focus on this now because actually it's not the right time for this to happen. But maybe you've been like really, really worried about this and you're wanting it to happen right now. And Spirit's saying, look, we've said clearly that it can't happen now for whatever reason. But, you know, this opportunity will come when, you know, when you're ready for it. It seems like you have to find something else in the meantime. Something else is going to be, like, fulfilling you. And there's this, like, message here about you guys not being really satisfied with your, your own lives right now. So you have to find that satisfaction and personal enjoyment before this situation turns into a yes. Yeah, we've got the devil, so... You seem overly attached to this situation or this question and maybe the question isn't like the best for your mental health because you're just being encouraged to really go with the flow right now and instead focus on moving towards your own goals um, and yeah, really trying to break free of the attachment to this question because the attachment is starting to like be really quite draining and unhealthy. So instead, have a think about different questions you could ask or different things you could focus on um, because it really is important that you try not to control this too much. Similar to group one, I feel like this may very well involve another person just because I'm getting the message that like, you know, you've got to let them be. You've got to let this person you know, do things in their own time. So you can't control this situation. And Spirit's definitely been saying like, look, we keep telling you like, you have to be patient here. You have to wait. And the more you think about this, the more it's going to like drain you and maybe um, affect your mental health. So Spirit's just saying, really like try to focus on other things for now. Maybe there's other areas of your life which you could really work on um, or try to find enjoyment elsewhere and just kind of leave this situation for now because it, I just feel like the more you push this, the more it kind of like turns into maybe a no, like this situation needs your um, detachment in order to kind of like resolve and get the highest outcome. 
So this does depend on like if you can healthily detach from this situation then an opportunity will come later on but for now just trying to like focus on your new beginnings elsewhere rather than um the situation so much okay group two let me know if that resonated we'll put these back in the deck and we will remove that one from the groups so if that resonates with group two, then definitely let me know in the comments. I love your guys' feedback. Um, but now we are going to go on to group three. So group three, yes or no? Okay, do more research. So Spirit is saying that you don't actually have all the information for this question, Six of Swords, it kind of feels like there's a lesson to learn here or there's things that you need to discover. This situation is pretty slow moving, which you may be finding really frustrating right now because I just feel like you've already waited a super long time for this situation. You've been very patient over the last few months and the last few, um, of the last few weeks. And so it's just kind of saying like, look, you need to continue to be patient because there's more information information which needs to be found here maybe you're trying to rush this and it just has its own kind of journey so watch and wait so group three you kind of need to just yeah wait for the timing here to be right we got the devil so so it really does seem like to be honest, I'm getting like a really good energy here of like, if you work hard, then the answer is yes. But you just need to make sure that you are like getting all the pieces to the puzzle rather than trying to fill in some of the gaps yourself. Yeah, we've got the seven of cups. So there's definitely more information you need to find before you can know the answer to this question. So try to think about um, what else do you need to know or yeah, what other information do you need to gather here? Because I feel like some of you are maybe overthinking this situation a little bit. Perhaps it's not as complicated as it may seem. Maybe with a little bit of hard work, you'll actually find that this does happen quite quickly. But I'm just really getting this Capricorn energy with the devil of like how you guys need to kind of work hard now and... Maybe try to find the solution to um, yourself. There's something you guys can do here, group three, to really improve this situation. Um, so group three, I am feeling like there may be a bit of an obstacle right now, but as you try to do your research and like find out more about this situation, that obstacle does seem to be removed here. We've got the six of wands. <coughs> I really feel June. I think June is going to be important here. So the group three, yes or no? The answer is um, basically you can create the outcome here. With this six of wands, I really do feel like you are um, going to be attracting what you want. So you're going to get the outcome that you desire. But this is definitely in your hands and maybe you're not seeing that right now. Maybe you don't realize just how much power you have in this situation, group three. Perhaps you are giving a lot of your power to other people. And Spirit's saying like, look, actually, you know, you can control this. You can definitely find the outcome that you want to have. Um, this Four of Cups, there's going to be opportunities coming your way in the month of June, which maybe you will want to kind of pursue here. I just feel like Group 3, you're waiting for this one big opportunity where maybe there's like more smaller opportunities, like multiple opportunities here that you could focus on instead. Sorry, I'm just having a drink. Um, so yeah, Greek free. You're attracting a lot more than you realise. And I do feel like what you want is definitely possible. But just kind of focusing not so much on that for now. And instead focusing on like smaller offers or opportunities which are coming your way. Group three, I get the sense that you guys have a decision to make here. And once you gather more information, once you do more research, you are going to be able to make a really balanced and healthy choice. I keep getting this like um, egg timer being turned upside down. So group three, it might even be that you change your mind about this in, in time. But like 
obviously only time will tell there but i just get the sense here group three that maybe you're like you're going to change what you want here. Like your goals and your ambitions are going to change the more you think about this situation and the more you look at it from like different perspectives. So yeah, just kind of like focus on maybe attracting other opportunities for now or like thinking about what other paths there are because group three, I feel like you've been so busy focusing on this one path or this one journey but you aren't quite realizing just how many other options are available. And there's something here, like group three, that once you focus on what other options are available, maybe you will actually prefer one of those options. So that's just something to think about. Um, but yeah, that's the answer to your question, group three. So I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments what resonated because I love getting your guys' feedback um, and I hope that answered your question. So let's put that one away. I'm just gonna have a quick drink before we go into group four. Are we ready? Group four, yes or no? No. So this is a clear no group four. Like there's no way around it, but let's see why. Why is this a clear no? We got the justice, so Spirit's saying no, because actually this isn't balanced, this isn't fair, and it's not what you deserve. So I'm getting, you know, when they say um, rejection is the universe's protection. So even though this may be a no, you will realize that this is a good thing, like it's a good reason for this being no, because um, clearly this situation wasn't actually balanced. And with that six of wands, like, this wasn't one of those roses. Like you deserve so much more than what this um than what this is. Like you deserve like so much more happiness and just something much more rewarding. I feel like maybe your ego wants this to be a yes. Or maybe you're happy that it's a no, but just something about this. It's not fair, it's not right. So yeah, the answer is no for now. Look, three of swords. This could very well be about like a separation here um I do think that you're being denied this because it's the right thing to do maybe you're asking about a third party situation um but yeah the answer here is no because this is hurting you this situation with it not being fair it's not um it's not good for you this could be like really breaking your heart it could be something which is um yeah maybe like you're struggling to move forwards with maybe you're struggling to see things clearly but I can just see that this situation it needs a lot of healing we have the fool so yeah someone here I feel is just acting quite immaturely or maybe just not seeing all their options maybe you're not seeing like what lies ahead but I just feel like if this was a yes, it wouldn't be right. You know, that fool, I just get the sense that this isn't, this isn't a risk worth taking. This isn't something which is going to like get you where you want to be. If this is involving someone else and they're very emotionally detached and it's like they're just not really giving to you the way that you deserve. Um, or maybe if this is like a situation, yeah, spirit's saying like, perhaps logically you want this, maybe your ego wants this, but like, it's not, it's just not going to give you the rewards that you deserve. And then we've got the death card. So yeah, clearly group four, unfortunately, as much as maybe some of you may want this, the answer is no, because there needs to be a transformation here. That three of swords in the death card is indicating that there needs to be a lot of healing in this situation, but you need to kind of let go of this in order to heal and evolve. Now with death comes rebirth, but first of all, you have to allow this ending or this distance. There's something here about you need to accept the situation and focus on other rewards or recognition rather than just continuing in this situation because it's becoming really unhealthy and quite emotionally exhausting and it's like spirit just doesn't want you to like give your all to this personal situation because it's not going to give you that 
that feeling of fulfillment. This is going to be quite a draining and painful situation the longer it goes on. So Spirit's guidance is really like, let this go, let this be over, and instead try to focus on fairer and more balanced situations and relationships, because that is when you will feel appreciated and supported. And this situation is just not giving you that spark. It's missing that energy. It's missing like um, that life force vitality. It just feels totally draining. Like this is kind of taking all your energy and not giving back to you. Um, so yeah, maybe you're not able to see the full picture of this right now. I do you feel like there's some things which are maybe being hidden from you? So maybe like the truth isn't out yet. And that's why this is difficult. But Spirit is just really trying to advise you to kind of stay clear of this situational person and instead focus on things which are going to be more rewarding. Okay, group four, that is all I'm getting for your reading. Let me know in the comments what resonated. Let's put these tarot cards away. Get that card off the table. And then we will move on to group five. Okay, group five, your yes or no question let it go so there's something here which you need to release i'm getting trust in the universe's magic so yeah this two of pentacles this situation maybe needs a little bit more balance i feel like you need to really think about why you're even asking this question that's what spirit keeps highlighting to me is that you know why are you asking this why can't you just wait for the results to come so group five spirit's being pretty harsh with you guys about like why do you even need to know the answer to this question why do you keep thinking about it ten of cups why aren't you trusting in like this happiness so let it go this really does seem to be a situation which maybe like you're trying to juggle multiple things or this is just like a burden that you really don't need to carry so group five spirits saying like once you let it go something will come your way so there will be a new beginning but right now you definitely need to end this cycle of like wanting to know the answers that ten of cups i do feel like this is about your future you're maybe asking a lot of questions about your future and spirit saying look please just live in the moment for now and just trust that like yeah things are really going to improve in fact group five i feel like you guys over the next two years are going to have so many new beginnings and ideas um so spirit's kind of saying like look wait to see what happens rather than trying to like plan too far ahead so group five that answers your question i i kind of feel like it's a yes i do i feel like spirit's kind of rolling their eyes saying yes this will happen but you just need to give it time you need to like stop asking questions about this and instead focus on like really enjoying your present moment because the next few years of your life group five are going to be big like the next few years here you're going to see some major um events unfolding you're going to see like lots of really positive experiences yeah look temperance card this is a very strong yes but it's also your guide saying please detach from this you know ten of swords look you're keeping yourself stuck by not living in the present moment like group five your guides are being super harsh um, about this situation and saying like stop planning ahead and just focus on the now because if you keep living your life in the future, then you're really going to feel quite disconnected. Now, group five, I think you're asking about a situation here, um, which is definitely ready to be released. That Ten of Swords, I kind of feel like you guys are ending a major chapter of your life and like you are getting excited about the next chapter, but you're still asking questions about what lies ahead. And your guides are saying like, stop asking questions. The answer is yes, but we need you to start enjoying where you are right now. This temperance card is asking you to bring things back into balance, to focus on the path of moderation and not living life to extremes. So not living in the past, not living in the future, but enjoying the now. And also just like really relaxing and going with the flow 
group five you guys are the group which clearly needs to surrender and also i'm getting like try to remain logical balance your head and heart like if you can have a rational approach to this situation then it's going to be okay it's when you let like yourself have a really emotional response and you try to kind of like know all the answers and instead just really focus on like releasing yourself from this like anxious mindset or need to know and just focusing on where you're at right now so group five yes but at the same time release it let this happen in the timing which is right for it to happen and definitely stop searching for answers i think group five spirit wants to surprise you with some things but you guys are pretty psychic anyway so it's it's kind of hard for the universe to surprise you when you already can see what's coming so yeah, try not to like keep sensing too far in the future because it might just block you from really enjoying the present moment. Um, but yeah, you know, I see that group five, you've put a lot of effort in here. So you've really been working on this situation. Um, and I'm just getting that, you know, that hard work is going to turn into some really good results. So group five, the answer is definitely yes. But you know that I've said it enough times, be patient, let it go and um, try to live in the now. Okay, group five, that is all I'm getting for you guys. Let me know in the comments what resonated because I love hearing your guys' feedback um, and I want to hear what this situation is. And now we're going to move on to group six. Okay, last but not least, group six. So let's see. We have use your power. So group six, yes or no? let's find out so yeah you're gonna get a second chance here group six i do feel like this is something didn't work out the first time round so you've been like wondering is it ever gonna happen um but you have the power to create this change i feel like you're going into this with like a different mindset you've got some kind of wisdom or experience here which you can use um group six i really do feel the answer is yes I think there's a very lucky, um, very lucky result here. So the answer is yes, there's going to be this change. But this time, like I said, you are going into this with experience, with wisdom, with understanding. You've been getting lots of signs from spirit around this situation. And even though the answer is yes, they're kind of saying like, you can continue to use your power. You have a lot of control in this situation that maybe you don't realize just yet. But yeah, like major success and victory here you are going to find that this situation resolves like in the best way possible i actually think this is going to be quite a life change life changing experience group six but i just keep getting the word rebirth and i keep seeing the phoenix so group six this is like a transformation taking place and spirits really give me the message about this is a second chance um and this is going to be quite an emotional new beginning here group six so what you're asking about you're going to get this invitation to like do over the invitation to like start again but i really feel that someone here is going to be messaging you group six and like i said you have a lot of power in this situation here's the king of pentacles and that's you you've got the the coin is in your hand like you have the offer you have the opportunity and i'm really enjoying this energy of like yeah look four of cups you are attracting the opportunity which is right so group six this is definitely a yes you are going to get this offer i do think it's going to be very emotional i think it's going to be really um rewarding here we got the page of cups so this is going to make you very happy um it's a very strong yes group six like i think probably out of all the groups this is the strongest yes that i am getting um but it's strong because this like needs this rebirth it needs this second chance i really do feel like first time round this just didn't work out group six for whatever reason but you've got all those life lessons you've got all the, that experience which you gained from this situation in the past and now you can use that life experience for good so group six this is about turning disappointments into like positive results so whatever disappointment you face you are able to use that as like your tool for transformation this is your power um i keep seeing a sunflower so this situation is going to make you very happy you will be happy that this is a yes um, and i just keep seeing this invitation in the page of cups 
So there is going to be a very big opportunity coming your way um, to take a chance on this again. And I do feel like this is second time lucky. So you need to just enjoy this like second chance. Um, I do feel this is going to bring you a lot of happiness. This is going to be very rewarding. I don't know why group six, but I keep being given like an engagement party. So this may be relating to love, um, but I just keep seeing like this party and it feels like you're celebrating an engagement or commitment. So just bear that in mind, group six. Um, but yeah, the answer is definitely a yes here. Um, I really feel a major celebration around this as, as well. So this isn't like a small yes, this is a big yes and there's going to be a party about it. Um, but yeah, you have more power in this situation than you realise and also all that work you've done on yourself, um, it's going to pay off in a really big way. So like you have the power, you have the knowledge, the wisdom, the experience and everything you've been through you're going to realise is for a reason and it's going to be for this moment. Okay, group six, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Let me know in the comments what resonated and I will see you back here next week with another pick a card. But I do hope that whatever group you chose resonated and it gave you your answer to your question.